this is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Do this. Build an app where the star changes colors based on the number of clicks. Add clicks to the watch window in the bottom right. Okay, so my watch window is closed, but they mean down here. So I want to add clicks. Why clicks? Well, because it's a variable, var clicks. And watchers allow us to, shockingly, watch the variable clicks. Okay. Add a Boolean, which remember it means true, false, like greater than, less than, equal to. Add a Boolean expression to the if statement that checks if there are five or more clicks. Okay, so here's my if statement and it's empty. I need to add a Boolean that checks if there are five or more clicks. So five or more means clicks is greater than or, and keep in mind, you can still go over here to blocks because I'm like, oh, I'm not sure if greater than comes first or equal comes first. Oh, okay, here it is. And I can just drop it. Boop, greater than or equal to. So I need to know if clicks is greater than or equal to five, right? If there are five clicks or more. Note, you'll be stuck in text mode until the debug, yeah, until you debug the code, okay. Now notice, oh, that's because click, clicks. Okay, I think we got it, right? Clicks, and this is a Boolean expression. We're asking the computer, hey, computer, is clicks greater than or equal to five? And all the computer can say is true or false. True would be one, zero would be false, which is binary. But anyways, true or false. If it's true, this code runs and we change the color of the star to red. If it is false, this code would not run inside of it. Let's try. Here's our number of clicks. Here's our watcher. One, one, two, three, four, and boom. We have a red star. Yay! And the rest doesn't do anything. Cool, though. Let's uh, keep going.